Okay, so the lesson for today is from 9.3 in the Daily Notes packet. Okay, so it talks about the Pythagorean theorem again, but it also talks about how you can identify if things are acute or obtuse triangles. Okay, so I'm going to leave this part up here for us to look at the whole time. But if you have a squared plus b squared equals c squared, so put it equals, and it solves the Pythagorean theorem, and it's only for right triangles. Okay, if you do a squared plus b squared and you get a bigger number, then c squared, so this is greater than, then this is actually an acute triangle. And if you do a squared plus b squared is less than c squared, so if this side's bigger than this side, it's an obtuse triangle, okay? So for example one, they want us to test what types of triangles these triangles are, okay? So you don't know if it's the right triangle, so you're not gonna call the biggest side the hypotenuse yet, but we are gonna call it c, okay? So you choose the biggest side, that's gonna be your c, and then the other two you're just gonna choose a or b. Um, so if we do 8 squared and 7 squared together, you end up getting 113. And then 10 squared gives you 100. So since 113 is bigger than 100, so if it's bigger than your C squared, this is an acute triangle. Okay, in this example, the biggest number is 20, so that's going to be our C. So we do 12 squared plus 16 squared, and you get 400. 20 squared is also 400. So since it equals, so equals, it's a right triangle, okay? Okay, so on page two, there are some problems that go with this. So the first problem, you've got a triangle with sides 9, 12, 15. So 15 is going to be your C. So you're going to do 9 squared plus 12 squared equals 15 squared. When you square those and add together over here, you get 225. 15 squared is 225. Those equals, so it's a right triangle. All right, if you look at number two, the biggest side is 17.4, so that's going to be our C. So we're going to do 10 squared and 14.2 squared together. So when we do those and add, you get 301.64. 17.4 squared gives you 302.76. So since this is bigger than this side, so the C squared is bigger, it's going to be an obtuse triangle. Okay, so that's page one and then part of page two.